you believe buying Tesla stock is a wise endeavor? Even though investing can yield significant rewards, many people think it's an art. There are risks associated with investing, and some people think that buying Tesla stock might not be a wise choice because of the possibility of lower returns. You wouldn't want to miss this for sure. Buffett stated in a 2018 interview with Fox Business Network that investing in Tesla is one thing Apple should absolutely avoid doing. Buffett deemed the possibility of Apple purchasing or investing in Tesla to be an extremely bad idea, primarily due to the difficult business environment of the automobile sector, which Apple has never entered. There had been sporadic rumors that Apple might want to buy Tesla in parts because it is one of the few companies that could buy Tesla outright and feel almost no impact on its balance sheet. Buffett once said, you can win an auto one year and lose the next. You've got a dozen big companies out there with resources. They're going to keep coming. They're going to copy what you do. Moreover, it has long been rumored that Apple is investigating self-driving car technology. In August of that year, the company rehired Doug Field, a former Apple hardware engineer executive who had joined Tesla two years earlier to assist with its autonomous driving technology efforts. Presently, it seems that rumors that Warren Buffett has declared Tesla stock to be a bad investment are spreading concurrently with growing speculation that Buffett has been covertly purchasing Tesla shares. This rumors began last year when Buffett was questioned about Tesla and its controversial CEO, Elon Musk. Buffett responded hazily, saying he's accomplished some amazing things. Buffett also stated that Elon Musk, the well-known EV manufacturer, may completely change a number of industries. Buffett is praised as a great person in the past, but he has also said that he needs to be more cautious when tweeting. It is well known how controversial Musk is, particularly when it comes to the way he tweets with his followers. Yeah, some could even argue that at least half of the times Tesla trended, it wasn't because of the brand, but rather its leader. However, Musk responded to a Twitter thread by asserting that he was worth more than both Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, and jokingly suggested that Buffett should invest in Tesla. While Berkshire has never invested in Tesla, the company did hold $6.1 billion worth of Chinese electric vehicle stock by company, Adria, and $2.2 billion worth of General Motors company stock as of the end of 2021. However, things took a turn when Buffett began selling his Bide shares, which sparked rumors that in an earlier interview with former CBS anchor, Charlie Rose, he had been secretly purchasing Tesla shares. Buffett highlights Musk's achievements at Tesla. Elon Dini, he's competing against General Motors, Ford, Toyota, and all these other powerful companies, and he has an idea, and he's winning. This is America. You can't even imagine how amazing that is. According to Buffett, recent reports indicate that Berkshire Hathaway is still unwinding its lengthy holding in Abide after owning it for 14 years, China's largest domestic. Ev Manufacturing, Tesla's main rival, this prompted some to believe that Warren Buffett was selling his Berkshire to purchase Tesla stock. The vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway's recent remarks did not allay rumors that the business is acquiring or is getting ready to purchase Tesla shares. It should be highlighted that Buffett's right-hand man, Charlie Munger, recently said that Tesla achievements in the auto industry are nothing short of a small miracle. We haven't had a successful new auto company in a very long time. So what Tesla has accomplished in the car business is a minor miracle. Munger spoke highly of Elon Musk's electric vehicle company, Tesla, in a recent CNBC Squawk Box episode, calling it an amazing feat in the American auto industry. I was surprised that Tesla did as well as it did. Munger said in the interview, but he noted that he does not equate Tesla with Bitcoin. Tesla has made some real contributions to this civilization, and its CEO Elon Musk has done some good things that others couldn't accomplish. Munger noted that in light of this, many are speculating that Berkshire Hathaway, owned by Warren Buffett, has been, or is at least planning to, load up on Tesla shares. If not, experts believe that a few factors could theoretically put Tesla on Buffett's radar in 2023. Firstly, Tesla is regarded as an industry leader and not just because its market cap exceeded all other auto stocks during the third quarter. According to S&P Global Mobility, a division of S&P Global Buffett, Tesla accounted for 65% of all EVs registered in the United States. Buffett is a firm believer that companies with a sustainable moat tend to stay ahead of the competition. Tesla can maintain its industry-leading share by increasing production significantly to meet the growing demand for EVs. In 2022, the Gigafactories in Austin, Texas, and Berlin, Germany 
came online. Although supply chain disruptions may affect production in 2023, it's possible that Tesla will produce more than 1.5 million EVs this year, following a pace, say, of more than 1 million EV deliveries in 2022. The income statements of the company would be the third beacon for Warren Buffett and his investing team. In accordance with generally accepted accounting procedures, Tesla has been profitable. Gaff's net income for the last five quarters has varied between $1.62 billion and $332 billion during the last three years, despite the fact that regulatory credits are helping Tesla's profits. These emission credits are no longer required to create profitability. The Oracle of Omaha may be interested in Tesla's balance sheet, which shows $21.1 billion in cash and cash equivalents as of September 31. This is the last and fourth factor that could catch their attention. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has proposed that the board of directors explore a share buyback after the U.S. and global economies stabilize a little. However, Tesla does not meet. Warren Buffett its criteria for a financially sound investment to the same extent that Buffett has given up on moats. There's no real moat for Tesla. Notedly, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has explained why he does not like Warren Buffett, citing the two richest men in the world having different approaches to business. In 2018, Musk rejected Buffett's advice to investors to look for companies with buffers, moats around them, saying that moats are meaningless and that what matters is the rate of innovation. According to CNBC, this means that Tesla's competitive advantages aren't as strong as their market share, which implies that the company's us and global markets have been declining. International automakers invest heavily in EV autonomous vehicle research and development as U.S. battery production. By the end of 2025, General Motors, a current Berkshire Hathaway holding, and Ford Motor Company are expected to have each unveiled 30 new EV models globally. To further emphasize this point, even though Tesla is the most popular EV sold in North America, it lacks the brand history and awareness that industry veterans like General Motors and Ford bring to the table. Building vehicles for American workers for more than a century is an intangible advantage that market cap simply cannot overcome. Additionally, Tesla's competitive advantages are already being overtaken by recently entered EV manufacturers. Uh, this year, China-based NIO introduced two sedans, the Eats Even and Et 5, to the market. With the top-tier battery pack update, these vehicles had 621 miles of range, which is figuratively equivalent to running circles around the range of Tesla's flagship Model 3 car without a distinct moat. With Warren Buffett and his investment team, Tesla wouldn't cut it. An additional explanation for Warren Buffett Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, may want to avoid owning Tesla stock. Strong management teams are a luxury, not a necessity, according to many investors, as long as the company Buffett is investing in is sound. But management team jeopardizes consumer and shareholder trust or negatively affects the company's operating performance. That's a serious red flag. Over the past few years, it has become clear that Elon Musk poses a legal, financial, and operating liability for Tesla. Although he is an innovator who has helped turn the startup into the most valuable automaker in the world. He has also frequently drawn the ire of U.S. regulators and has a history of overpromising and under-delivering when it comes to new innovations in products. In other words, many believe that Musk is too unpredictable to be trusted. Tesla shares for additional content on Tesla stocks. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.